are back for the final period from the sold-out Spectrum in Philadelphia with the 76ers trailing for the third time by 19 points and their fans trying to urge them on now. Now, what the Lakers are going to have to guard against is the same thing that the 76ers had to guard against in Los Angeles in the last game. When you had a big league going in the last quarter, and what happens is they vary their speed. They don't want to keep running, but they don't want to fall the way down. And so there are two speeds they have to be careful of, fast and half fast. They've got to be either fast or slow. <laughs> Johnson. And Magic again was left wide open uh, some 16 feet away from the hoop. you got to get up and play it. Alex back off of it. Irving went into mix and Landsberger fouled him. And uh, now, gentlemen, if this holds up, I would have to think that Paul Westhead made an intelligent move in suspending Spencer Haywood. After the second game, there seemed to be some disruption around the Lakers. It was not smooth in that locker room. But yet, Westhead went ahead and suspended a man he probably could have used the rest of the way, and that may have drawn the rest of these guys together. Irving outside because I want to pass along a little conversation. I was in the locker room talking to Jones. We're getting ready to do some things with him and Jones saw Spencer coming across the room and Spencer said they've already suspended me. And Jones said you've got only yourself to blame big fella only yourself. And that seemed to be how the team felt about it. He had missed a practice. He'd fallen asleep at another one. And they didn't like the way he threw the towel at the basket as he was leaving the forum after the second game loss. Spencer then asked for a meeting with the owner of the team Jerry Buss. And Buss upheld his coach. And so the Lakers with a man short have come here into Philadelphia, the Spectrum. And they have played extremely well here this afternoon. The pressure is squarely now on the shoulders of the champions of the Eastern Conference, the 76ers. Irving got two free throws. He was fouled by Magic on that play, leaning in with a jump shot. Here's Magic coming down to challenge Caldwell. Landsberger on the other side. It'll be mixed battling it off. It's Maurice Cheeks for the Sixers. Pull up outside on its way. Caldwell Jones tucks it down. Inside a pretty pass to Cheeks with the left hand. And the Sixers hope to regroup now for the run. They got to push the ball up the floor every time. I'm speaking of Philadelphia, as they did on that play. Don't walk the ball up. Bring it right at them. Now, if they're going to try to get old Mo on their side, that's no <laughs> matter, right? <laughs> start with defense. Here's Irving. So there they got to go in and take it to him. Cheeks takes it inside that time. A chance for three pointer. How about just what you call for? Beautiful feed by Irving. He almost walked for the ball. He's trying to go up. Watch Julius go up and almost came down with it. Bounced it underneath. And as Cheeks went to the hoop, he was fouled by Landsberger. A chance at a three-pointer. And look who's back. Let's put it into perspective. Kareem was watching the last couple of trips down the floor. No one wants a world championship any more than that man right there. That's his age, 33. There's only eight players in this league any older than he is. We have, through the years, taken Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for granted. With all fairness to Bill Russell, I think you may be looking at the greatest center to ever play in this league. Now, Russell, I know you're going to jump all over me, and Wilt Chamberlain's waiting for me in L.A., but I think the man's had an incredible career. I think you're entitled to your opinion. Thank Rick, you very much. And you can say it as much as you like. <laughs> 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 that's right. That's right. And Daryl Getz had to go over to the scorers to make sure they knew who the foul was on and why it was he called it and who was shooting. And that's Mr. Cheeks. And we saw in the replay, Landsberger fouled him, number three. <laughs> we got it all. No question about it. Kareem had checked back in. Cheeks missed by a chance for a three-pointer. It is 86-71 with 10-16 to go. Free throws, 7 of 11 for the 76ers, 18 of 24 for L.A. Hollins, pull up. Yanked away by Julius. The doctor rolls to the middle. Play by Julius. I don't see anyone that could extend his arm like that and have control of the ball and still shoot it up and in as he did on that play. And now the Lakers are at that speed that I was talking about that they shouldn't be playing at. They're not really setting it up that well and they're not running it. They're not making the transition. The things that cause them to get their lead. And One second on the shot clock. The 76ers get a turnover. It is their turn to make the run. 
The doctor had it knocked away. Cheeks gets it back, and there's a whistle outside. That foul's going to be against Julius Irving, a loose ball foul. But a moment ago, here's Irving floating. Look how far he extends his right arm. And then softly put the shot up and got the field goal for Philadelphia. However, it'll be Laker ball. Lead is down to 13 with Cooper checking in. And they have not made the transition game, which is the most important part of that game from offensive defense. They have not exploited that at all in this quarter. And that time, they did a fine job of keeping Kareem away from the offensive board. Three Philadelphia big men blocked out properly, and the Lakers lose the ball out of bounds to Philadelphia. Jake sends it to Hollins. Pull up outside. Run down by the doctor as the ball was going out. We've got a whistle by Rush and a call underneath. It's foul. It's against Julia Servi and another loose ball foul and the doctor away from the ball. That's twice in the last four times down that he's had to foul chasing after a ball that was knocked away. Three on Irving. Talking about winning a ring in the World Championship without Kareem. This man would love to prove that he could win a World Championship. Julia Servi. She played, uh, of course, in an ABA championship, but never with an NBA team. They were beaten by Portland in six games back in 77. Five players from that squad still here with Billy C. today. Kareem now maneuvering on that little jump shot. There are 55 plays in the Laker playbook, and Paul Westhead will admit that most of them are designed to get the ball to the big guy. And he had a lot of time that time to get his rhythm on the play, and he hit the jump. A runner by Caldwell Jones went high. The glass, a pretty shot. 14 now for CJ. Hollins picks up Magic High. Here's Kareem again, underhanded roll, and he took a shot in the face. They're getting, they're not rolling in there to help him out either. Caldwell Jones is playing strictly on his own, and there's no way he can stop Kareem if he doesn't get help from those guards to seal up the middle. Cheeks outside, short Wilkes rebound. 7.58, last time the Lakers won in the spectrum, February 5th, 1975. They've lost for nine straight times, including a one-point setback on CBS earlier this year. Abdul-Jabbar maneuvering, backs in, goes to the turnaround. That time he was short. Magic saved it, sends it back now to Cooper. Magic at the right baseline, holds for Kareem, who rolls the hook in, and Abdul-Jabbar now is up to 27. That's a super feed by Magic, too. Very unselfish play. Could have taken a shot, but he double pumped and dropped it right in. Here's Magic. Look at that. Double kick right down to Kareem, rolling to the baseline. The sky hook hits home, and the Lakers are back up by 17, and we've got a timeout. We'll be right 30 in each of the first two games. That's one of the problems with Philadelphia's game today. Right there, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Inside the duck, and into home the dunk. Oh, Kareem took his hands and put him right up in a ball in front of him. He said, I'm getting out of here. Watch Kareem. He said, uh-oh, watch his hands. Well, he didn't want to get the other foul. <laughs> you bet and not. the other thing is, uh, Philadelphia still has a minute, two minutes to get back into this game. They, they fell back a little bit, but they still got to get it down to 10 or around there. Big offensive rebound by Jones after Wilkes had missed it by outside. Magic now on the right side. Hollins watching him, backing off the Kareem, now going with Magic. No help. Missing and tapped in by Matt Johnson on the left side. Now, they, they cannot let that happen. See, now, what Magic Johnson is doing is setting the ball up. He's starting his offense from the guard position. But once he passes the ball up, he's playing forward because he's in on the offensive board.